Hey guys, it's Spitfire again. Um, I just got done working out, so I got crazy messy hair. Um, today, I'm going to be going through one of the great mysteries in life. Trying to get the back gear, or the headstock, of a Logan lathe. I've never done it before, but I'm going to figure it out for you guys so you don't have to. So let me show you what I'm working with and we'll get started. <clears throat> Alrighty, so here's our lucky candidate. Um, first thing I want to mention is, if you haven't noticed already, my picture quality is way better. Finally got my new camera. Um, taking great video, hopefully. But here it is. What this guy is, is used to be a Logan or a Montgomery Awards 10 inch lathe and I have already unbolted the headstock here but um, if you can look inside there you can see we got our bowl gear here's our large gear and then our small gear in there and I don't know you guys know how to take, the, take that out? I don't but I'm gonna figure it out for you guys um, I have yet to see a video of anybody taking these guys apart on YouTube because I was curious myself and I went searching and I found absolutely nothing. So let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do, get your US standard wrenches. And we're going to take this, I don't know what they call this, this your pull bar, your, your bar thingy. Uh, that's your, I think they call it your slide. So we're gonna take that guy out, and there is a little hex bolt under there. If I can figure out what size it is, I'll let you guys know. It's a eighth of an inch. Loosen that guy up. Take this collar off. Slides right off. And this guy will hopefully Slide right out of there. Mine had a bunch of gunk up here, so it didn't slide out very good, but it did. You can see kind of how that guy is set up. There's supposed to be a re little retainer pin in here in this slot, but it has either been taken out or broke out. So we'll slide this guy back together. Throw it off to the side, and I'm gonna go throw some gloves on because this gets a little greasy. So hang tight. So I was driving in my car today on the way back home, and somebody pulled out in front of me. Don't know if it was a guy or a gal, but I noticed on their license plate it said I R N E Y E, and then space R N. If you don't know what R N is, registered nurse. So they're an eye nurse. I think that eye nurse needed to get her eyes checked. All right, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. This is all stuff that you probably are going to have. Eh, you probably won't have it off. These are bolts for the, the uh, cover. So now what's next is, I'm not sure I'm going to think about it. Think about it some more. And then we'll take a look-see. Being that I already got this guy off, I'm just going to pull this back. So we can take a look and see what this thing looks like underneath. And lo and behold, we'll get a better shot here. We got some retaining screws. So let me find my expensive mag light and I'll zoom in here for you guys. In. All right, if you can see it in there, there's a hex retainer bolt in there. Same thing on that side. So, <clears throat> bad news guys, your SOL, if you were thinking that you're going to be able to take this guy off without um, 
taking your headstock off. So the headstock is got to come off. <clears throat> so let's find our correct wrench. Actually, I'm going to set this thing up on my bench so uh, I'm not kneeling on the floor and then I don't have it sitting on there so I don't scratch my bed. Alright, here's a little, little better setup for you guys. For me too. So I think we checked that one. That one is not right. So, good news, bad news here, guys. Um, well, I don't know about the good news, but bad news is you got to take your headstock off. Good news, you probably don't have to take your spindle out. You can leave that guy right in there. Shouldn't get in the way. So I'm not sure exactly how far we're going to unscrew that. That should be more than enough. And numero dos. This is a 732nd Allen wrench, by the way. FYI. So there, those guys are loose, so now I should just slide right out, right? Theoretically. And I got my uh, tumbler gear retainer here, so I'm just going to take that off in case we need to get that out of the way because it really doesn't need to be there at this time. As you can see, it's nice and greasy and dirty, so if you're gonna, gonna be doing this, it's probably gonna be nice and greasy and dirty. All right, next step is hope and pray that something comes out. <laughs> so let's get some, let's figure out which way we wanna go. So I'm thinking, we probably want to go this way first. I, I believe what you have to do is you have to push it out one way and then push it out the other way. From everything I have never been told, that's what needs to happen. And I just happen to have a little piece of brass here because they made me buy a little hunk at the store the other day when I was at the surplus place. So. Twang, twang. And we're moving in the right direction. So I'm just going to keep pounding away here. And I am going in the direction of what would be the spindle at this point. I might, uh, we might end up going the other way. But we'll find out. I'm gonna try going the other way and see what happens here. And so we get stuck. All right, plan B is what I'm gonna do is take a screwdriver and I know I actually probably didn't see that. I didn't pry on it, I just pushed it. There's this bushing here, and we'll push it back in. See there? This is, okay, here's our heads, or here's our spindle side, where our chuck would be. And here's our little bushing. And I'm not prying on it, I'm just pushing it. So I'll just push, pull this out, and push a little further, and grab and twist and swear and grunt and wonder why it ain't working ah. okay okay so I'll see if I can get this in there and I'm ran out of room there so bum ba da -ba. So what I can tell you now is there's this rides on a shaft in here. There's a capped bear. Uh, this is bearing bushing, whatever you want to say. And then there's also a open-ended bushing on this end, which we'll pull out here in a second. So let's see. Now the trick is I got to grab hold of this, and there, there we go. Twist, turn, pull it out. See, it's a a capped off 
bronze bushing in there. See, we're making progress. All right. So now what I believe we can do is push our piston out. And what I'm going to do is not our piston, but our shaft. And these, sorry, these cords are annoying for you guys. So <clears throat> on our what would be the uh, outside spindle here, where all the change gears and everything are at, if you have change gears, <clears throat> there's an open-ended bushing in there, and I'm going to push with this dowel and push this shaft out while I'm holding my gear here. So let's give it a shot. There we go. And it's an eccentric. I forgot to mention that. So here we go. Look at that. Ka chow And then that just pulls out like that. Look at that. Success. So there's our eccentric. And there's a little woodruff key there. If you can see that guy. And this little guy down here was on there too. I'm not quite sure what that's for actually. Oh, pff. you know what that guy's for? That rides. Hold on a second. I got this. <clears throat> Hang tight. This rides on our slide gear. So that's our rack and pinion, whatever you want to call it. So that, sorry, that'll turn our eccentric. So that's why that guy's keyed, because that'll turn on the shaft and then the, the back gear will spin by itself. So there we go. And then if we want to pop this guy out, I'm not sure if it even pops out. That's why I wasn't moving a whole hell of a lot. Because that is machined on this side. So I lied. There is no, there's a bronze bushing in there, but our shaft spot is machined here. So let's figure out which way we're in. I'm just going to check this out and see. So yeah, there we go. So there we go, and then put it back together, you can figure it out. It just goes back the way the same came way it came out. And then you just got to make sure that um, you do have to line this guy up when you put it back in. You have to make sure that when you push it in, this whole back gear assembly drops down, and then when you pull it out, it plops up into your bull gear and your outside spindle gear. So there we go, look at that. One of the seven great mysteries of the world has been solved here tonight and then there we go we got our for the most part stripped down headstock um, I'm gonna take a few more parts off this guy but there we go there it is success on to the next project huh see that took me all of like what five six seven ten minutes but of course, you your lathe is probably sitting there all together, functioning, working, and mine was pretty much stripped apart, so ha, good luck. <laughs> Have fun. No, it, it really wasn't that bad once you get it all apart. One thing I forgot to mention, if you, well, obviously you gotta pull your headstock off. But when you do, clean your bedways up extremely well and mark down here, say your bed is right here, with a little razor blade or something, die cam and a little scratch. Mark where your headstock's at. Because when you put that thing back on there, you want to get it damn near as close back to normal as you can. An alternative method to that would be, well, I would do that. And then on top of that, you could also put a magnetic dial indicator on your bed ways. And then you can return your headstock back to zero with your dial indicator. There we go. All right, there we go. We got it apart. We did it. We did it. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something because the hell if I knew how to do it. But you know, these things are extremely simple. There's usually not much to take them apart. Um, everything's standard on them. You go USA, and uh, yeah, they're they're pretty simple to take apart. Um, if you're planning on doing this, I hope that helped you because, like I said before, I had no idea how to do this, so hopefully now you do. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, comment, ask questions if you want. I'm always available to ask questions. And you can always contribute if you found this helpful. Every little bit helps, and I always put it towards doing more crap. So I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Check out my other videos. Till next time. See you guys later. Thanks.